Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to disable a test method in TestNG. Let me answer. In TestNG, there are two ways using which we can disable a test method. First way is by specifying this attribute known as enabled is equal to false. And the other way is by specifying this at the rate ignore annotation. Let me practically demonstrate these two ways for you and show you how to use these two ways to disable a test method in testing. For that, I'll switch to this uh, Eclipse ID. After that, uh, there are three classes here. And uh, let's go to one of the class. Okay. So let's say I would like to disable this one. I don't want to run this particular test method. So what I can do is beside this at the rate test annotation, provide circular brackets. And inside the circular brackets, you provide something known as enabled is equal to false. That's it. This will disable the test from running. Now run this particular thing uh, or run this test engine.xml file. Uh, or you can even run this one. Okay. Right click uh, run as uh, this is also fine. There are two test methods inside this class one, but only one will run because this one is disabled. Okay. So right click run, test ng test, only one should run, out of two only one should run. You see only one got run, other one got disabled, okay. So C1 test 2 got run, but uh, C1 test 1 didn't run because we have disabled it by specifying this attribute known as enabled is called false beside this at the rate test annotation. Or there's another way, if you don't want to provide this attribute, there's another way. On the top of this at the rate test annotation, you provide one more annotation known as at the rate ignore annotation. Pour the modes on this ignore annotation and import it from test ng. Now, if you run this again, the same thing will happen out of these two tests. Only this particular test is going to run. So right click run as test ng test. Only one test is going to run. You see, only one test got run, other one got disabled. If I remove at the rate ignore, so neither uh, attribute I am providing enabled is called false. I'm not providing at the rate ignore also not providing in the in such cases. If I run this particular thing, two tests will run. Okay. Now tests are enabled. Okay. They are in enabled world. Okay. Enabled mode. So two tests got run. But if I provide enabled is called false or if I provide otherwise, if I provide on the top of this at the rate test, if I provide at the rate ignore in both cases, the test method got disabled. So hope you understood how to disable a test method in test by using any of these two ways. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.